Wheeling history and creative impressions are going to give you some new insights into some historical Wheeling images. Wheeling had its own like Hollywood sign on the hill by Vineyard Hills, thanks to Charles Hancher, jeweler. Um, he had a sign placed up there to advertise his business. Um, and uh, I have several pictures of this clock that he had installed in 1890. And this first one is a glass negative, And uh, that places it late 1800s, early 1900s. Then the next one is probably, you know, maybe 10 years later. And you can see just a tiny little bit of it, but this is such a great shot. Um, it shows the McClure, CA house, trolleys. Uh, you know, it's a very nice shot. And this next one, it's pretty old too. Um, and it, you can see the clock, but it, it looks a little strange in this one. Uh, the way they took the picture, maybe. Then when you get to the 30s, this is a nice picture. Looking north on Market Street, you can see it off to the left there. And here's another one. This one's probably in the 50s by the looks of the cars. And again, you can see it. It's toward the left here. And then the, the, uh, this, is, uh, this next one is in the 70s. And the name of the jewelry store was Rogers um, at that time. And then this last one is just another picture of uh, Roger's jewelry with the clock. The clock did move at one time. It was uh, it moved up to where the Security National Bank was. I don't really have any pictures of that, but I uh, I know that it moved up there because it got hit by a car and damaged. They replaced it. Now the clock resides in uh, on Main Street, 14th and Main Street. I hope you like this story. Um, and if you like what we're doing, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please visit our website at wheelinghistory.net. We have 10 books related to wheeling history, and we have a 12-page flood supplement from the 1936 flood. Thank you very much.